island of Joe Pie with butterfly. So, a lot of tigers. And the sedum is about to bloom. We'll see how they fare when they come out. Another shot. Here's another shot from a little further away. The further away you, you get, you can see more of them in the shot, but I don't know how much they come out, how, much, how well they can be seen. From a distance. So to kill OE spores from your cages, you're going to have to use some Clorox bleach. And it's best to use the regular formula rather than the splashless because if you look closely, the concentration is different between the regular formula and the splashless. It's about half as much. So you'd have to use twice as much if you were using splashless as opposed to the regular. So I like to use the smaller um, 43 uh, fluid ounces bottle as opposed to the 81 because this fits in the fridge I like to keep it in the fridge the colder you keep it the longer it will last and then if you want to compare prices per ounce you'll notice that if you try Amazon it'll generally be much higher than if you go to the store like a Walgreens even Walgreens has their own apparently uh, brand here that is the cheapest if you're really looking for something cheap. The container that I use is this particular container from Amazon. I put 80 ounces of water which is about 10 cups and 210 grams of the bleach at the 7.5 percent strength and I submerge and soak the cage for about five minutes then I rinse it by submerging it again. You can also add some peroxide in your rinse. Peroxide will react with any bleach that remains on your cage just, just to make sure that you don't have any bleach staying longer than on the metal cages longer than you need it because it can start rusting, it can attack the metal. So it's good to maybe put some hydrogen peroxide in your rinse water. Uh, once you pull it out of the rinse water, you can uh, shake that water off of it pretty dry. And then the sun would probably take care of any remnants, chemical residue that may remain. And then you can store in the uh, cardboard boxes for the winter. The cages, uh, they're actually YBM cages they have a, just about every size you want if you buy them two at a time they can turn out to be nine dollars each if you buy them by the dozen they come down to about five dollars each also looking at peroxide you know if you go to your local CVS it's going to be cheaper than if you try to get it from Amazon for example and here again uh, Walgreens we have about four cents per ounce on the peroxide. Okay so we're going to measure out the carotid bleach and maybe you can use something with graduations but this one doesn't have any. When we turn on the scale 
it'll go ahead and tear with the weight on. Right now you can see ounces are the unit of measurement. So you can flip it by pushing this button. And uh, that should be grams. And now we'll go ahead and pour. So now we'll go ahead and put it in one of these. And so we have 32 ounces here of water. And we'll put another 32 ounces again. And then we'll put our bleach in. And then I like to uh, sort of clean out this cup with the remainder, 16 ounces. So we'll clean this cup a couple times. Okay, and now we have, we're ready to um, soak the cages to disinfect them. One thing to do is to check the strength of the solution, and if you have a slide that you were using to test for OE, you can peel off some of the stickers and you'll have a residue that will be OE on the slide. And we're going to put that slide in there for five minutes and see under the microscope or even when we pull it out, might be able to see whether it um, destroyed the spores. So it's submerged. Five minutes later, it looks like it actually cleared up. One thing you can do is also to add some uh, soapy water spray to it um, to break the surface tension of the water so it will go into the uh, little mesh screens very well. And then we'll grab one of the cages and we'll put it in. You can see it's completely submerged. And then we'll get the timer and we'll set five minutes on the timer and then when the timer rings we can rinse the cage and then put the next cage in it. So we have a few seconds left on the timer and then we can either grab if we'd like or you can use one of these uh, skewers and uh, grab it and let it drip somewhat because with the repeated use of dunking if we don't let it dry off to some extent we're going to reduce the liquid level which will prevent it from submerging like it should so once it stops dripping pretty much we'll go ahead and put it in the rinse and again this is another amount of water with some soap to make sure the uh, water gets into all the new little nooks and crannies and uh, make sure you actively rinse this and then when it's rinsed you can essentially pull it out as well and um, 
You can shake it vigorously outside to get that water that's within the mesh out and then let it dry in the sun and it should take care of, of the rest of it. You can set up a second bath uh, to do to go twice as fast and alternate between the two pulling putting them in and putting them rinsing them. So the other part that needs to be clean are these joints that are used to double up the cages when all the chrysalis are hanging on the top of the cage and they're about to e-close you can double up the cages so they have enough room to expand their wings as they should so these pieces should also be disinfected um, so in the last batch we're going to uh, put all these guys in there. So we have the last couple cages almost done near the end and uh, we'll go ahead and uh, add these guys. sure they get submerged and do another five minutes and um, we'll go ahead and uh, grab these but I'm drinking a little bit Rinse them. The other neat thing about these is they have lids, so if you wanted to continue tomorrow, for example, you can uh, seal them and lock them. So they're really resistant to the bleach. Also, if you have some of these, you can do five minutes on one side, five minutes on the other to disinfect those. And um, if you use the magnets to uh, mark the cages, you can also dunk them for a good five minutes to uh, get them disinfected. And then we have a couple boxes of clean cages ready for next year. <laughs>